Hello and I welcome back to my videos about Python and the Socket program. I hope you enjoyed the two other uh, videos. In this video I will show a very simple and fast way to work with Pickle in Python so you can transport the, the Python objects from the server to the client and again from the client to the server. It's very useful if you're working on cross platforms. You need to transport like data science from Panda and NumPy and keep the format so you can transport the layer. You can use it to so much other things, but in this case, I will be very simple and show you how you can do it with the basic uh, Python directory. Let's begin and going for the server here. And then we need to change a little bit in a code from the previous video. I will just uh, change this message and I will say it's in dictionary. I'll say hello world socket server. And let's see data. And then we need to import people. It's a built in library in Python, so you don't need anything, just use it. And and what we want to do here is the message. So we need to dumps and the dump should be here. And then we are done with the server. I just need to start the server and see what happens here. It's working perfect. Let's go in for the client one more time. And when you go in for the client, we want to, to change a little bit. We need to say bytes here and bytes here. And then it's basically should be uh, ready to go. But you can see if we started to get a very little message here. Bytes, bytes, message not decode anymore. Not anymore here. And we forgot to import people, that's fine. I just need to see what I've done wrong. Starting to fill up again, starting to climb. Um, I think I have a little mistake here, yes, it's in the server. In the server I need to say bytes and then we want to, nope, it's correct, it's here, bytes and then we need the UTF-8 and plus the message here and then we need to replace it up here Need to start up the server and then the client. And here we go. You can see you stream the, the people data. It's look very weird it's because it's keeping everything. So if we're going back for the client and the full message should be the people loads and that's it. And you can see we have it here. So if we have it as a as an object again in the Python, so d is equal to d, and you can say print d hello here, and then it should work in as it's doing here. Hello world. So that's how you transport a pickle object from a server to a client, and you can do it in the other way back again. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you want to make a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much again and I hope you want to like and share with your friends and I hope to see you next time and thank you for subscribing. See you next time.